So what are the signs of poor power quality? Power disturbances make themselves known in a variety of ways, including computer lockups and lost data, flickering lights and monitor screens, overheating motors and transformers, tripping of circuits and variable speed drives, and higher energy bills. If these warning signs are ignored, they can result in damaged equipment and interruptions that shut down critical processes. The costs of poor power quality can be significant. When production is interrupted by a power disturbance, profit is lost on the products not manufactured and sold. And interruptions can damage a partially completed product, causing the material to be rerun or scrapped. If your organization is a computer-based or online business, think about how long it takes to reboot workstations and recover pending transactions and unsaved documents. This lost time equates to lost revenue. Reacting to a power disruption also ties up valuable maintenance resources and incurs costs, involving diagnosing and correcting the problem, restoring production, cleanup, and repair. Additionally, poor power quality can also lead to higher than normal utility rates. Ensuring good power quality requires frequent inspection, good maintenance practices, and the appropriate inspection equipment. Only tools specifically designed to troubleshoot, record, and analyze power quality parameters provide the detailed information you need to locate a variety of disturbance sources and to correctly diagnose the problem. The recorded data provides a basis for predictive maintenance, allowing you to detect disturbances at an early stage before they negatively affect your business. Power disturbances are defined in terms of magnitude and duration. When a power disturbance falls outside specified operating limits, equipment may be disrupted or damaged. 